Unpopular opinion, get ready. Let me tell you something. I know this may sound like a contradiction, but just go with it. Spirituality and whatever religion and whatever you believe in, you have to listen to yourself. At some point you have to turn to you. Do you believe in this thing? Do you actually resonate with what is being said? You can actually question these things. It's not wrong. You have other people saying, oh my God, don't ever question the universe. Don't ever question God. Question the universe, question God. Question what you believe in, it leads to answers, yeah? It also reveals the characters of who's actually for you and who's not for you. You learn very quickly whose beliefs are very strong and whose beliefs are not. Be the observer, be the experiment. But I feel as though that we don't talk a lot about this in spirituality. If so, I just haven't seen it. It hasn't come across my way yet. But with this Saturn in the ninth transit, I've really been questioning everything. And I've realized that watching other people talk about spirituality, talk about the relationship that they have with God, and then they give me these tips on how to strengthen my relationship with the universe and God, and I find that it's not working, I only frustrate myself. Then when I look for support because I'm saying that these things are not working for me, I find that the first thing that many people do in the spiritual community is they turn it back on you. Don't you think that's a little toxic? Don't you think that's a little unhealthy? If somebody doesn't get something, if somebody doesn't resonate with something, your first thing should not be to blame them. Their first question shouldn't be what you did wrong. We're all made differently. We all have different energy. So of course we're going to resonate in different things. Sometimes we have to take the path less traveled. Sometimes we have to take our own path and see what's going to work for us. Now, I have Aquarius in the ninth house, so I'm going to do that naturally. But not everybody has Aquarius in the ninth house, and I already know that, and that's okay. Some people have Libra in the ninth house, so they're naturally going to go to others to see what resonates with them, to see if they have similar beliefs. That's okay. Some people have Aries in the ninth house, and they get frustrated when they hear somebody saying something that doesn't resonate with them. That's okay. I also agree with you there, because same. Some people have Capricorn in the ninth house, and it's just going to be a different path for them. Hardships there. Lessons, don't get me started. The pettiness, <laughs> I say this all to say, now everything is going to work out for you on this spiritual journey. It is all about exploration, yes. And look, I'm going to say this, it may be a little controversial. A lot of people in the spiritual community have Jupiter-dominant energy because why? Spirituality is Jupiter-ruled. Not everything that they say is going to resonate with you, especially with Law of Attraction, especially with your relationship with the universe, with God, with how you can strengthen that. Their purpose is to get in alignment with what it is that they desire and the opportunity will present itself. It's preparation meeting opportunity. That's the true definition of luck for them. You can't tell Saturn dominant people that that's the way to do it because they're going to try it and Saturn dominant people are going to find very quickly that that is not the way to do it. Their karma is a little different. The key to find what's dominant in your chart is that planet in its home sign or house or is that planet conjunct angles or in houses one, four, seven, and ten. I'll leave you with that information. That's it. I'm done.